Well, 100 years ago today, one of the greatest British explorers of all time died. Born and brought up in South London, Ernest Shackleton made his name on expeditions thousands of miles from here in the Antarctic, surviving against almost impossible odds. Sam Holder reports. Ernest Shackleton was just 47 when he died of a heart attack. The famous Antarctic explorer. But it was his failures and how he faced them that set him apart. Famously, he was less than 100 miles from being the first person to reach the South Pole when he turned back, concerned his crew wouldn't make it. The National Maritime Museum has spent £147,000 to buy one of the sledges used on that expedition. Uh, they, they were in a very critical condition. They were on a starvation diet and there were days when they had no food. By the end, everything that they felt was important was on this sledge. By that stage, of course, they'd abandoned quite a lot because you are now in, su in a survival race. But it's the story of survival on the endurance expedition that still defies belief. With his ship stuck in ice and 22 crew members stranded, Shackleton and five others used a rickety lifeboat to sail 800 nautical miles in hurricane conditions to find a tiny island. The chances, like finding a needle in a haystack. This is it, the lifeboat that Shackleton used. It's hard to believe that it could actually make that journey. But even once they landed, that wasn't the end of their ordeal. They had to trek 36 hours straight to find help at a whaling station on the other side of South Georgia Island. All of the crew were rescued. The lifeboat that James cared was donated to his old school, Dulwich College. When you think about the journeys that are done nowadays, they often have safety vessels, they often have a film crew with them, and there's always that element of being able to still communicate with the outside world. And he knew he had no way of communicating other than going, they had to rescue themselves, basically. There was no one else going to come and find them. Um, and it was that determination that drove him. A hundred years after the Sydenham raised explorer's death, his legacy is still controversial. Many blame his poor organisational skills for the dangers he faced. But he is regularly ranked as one of the greatest ever Brits for how he dealt with adversity and inspired others to survive. Sam Holder, ITV News.